play and call it work. Why do I like orcs? Well, this is why I like orcs. You got hordes of boys, cowardly Gretchens, weird guns, unreliable, reliable shooting, and lots of daka 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 daka. Before you go any farther, in the link in the description below, there are links to games with orcs in them in the Mini Wargaming Vault. This is Mini Wargaming's Orc Army. It's roughly 12,000 points. It's one of our oldest and most hodgepodge put together armies, painted by many people. I think the first models were painted by Mini Wargamer Dan, Codex Dan, painted all the way from painting partner people, myself, even Lee, Mini Wargaming Lee, has painted some of these orcs. 182 orc boys. This is our measly 10 Burnas. Oh, so we got 10 tank busters. They are the best of the best of the best in an orc army. We got 44 storm boys. Um, wow, I think I need to use these more often. I did not know we had so many. 10 flash gets that seem to die right away every turn, turn one of every game. We got 32 war bikers. Five war tracks. You may recognize these as the old Gorka Morka models, actually. 14 buggies. Various weapons. Six of the slow moving mega knobs. Three kill cans. I really think we need like 30 of them, though. And some of the best orc units 15 def coptas. The list has seven trucks. The red ones go faster. One really old Death Dread. There's also six Battle Wagons, a couple converted up. Uh, one Ferocious Gorkonaut. And a Morkonaut. Ooh, five Daka Jets. The ever powerful Gretchen 28LM. And this, the Stompa, it's, 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 over, it's overpriced. And our enormous custom built Great Gargant. And some giant flyer thing that Mini Wargamer Dan built way back in the day. I don't know what it is, what it's for. All right, so what I really love about orcs is their vehicles are just hodgepodge messes of metal scraped together with some wheels on them. You got killicans or death dreads that don't look like they should work or run at all, but they do. You got storm boys who just strap a bunch of rockets to their back and go jumping into combat. Flash kits with like 12 guns all like glued together with some duct tape and they all fire together. Orcs are awesome in their ridiculousness in their models. My true love of orcs has actually just recently bloomed. I haven't always been a big fan of orcs, but I love them now just because more so than any other army, I want to see orc players play, they're having the most fun. There's You just throw everything on the table, you roll a bunch of dice expecting your hits in the shooting phase not to hit, and then you know most of them do. They're unpredictable, they're wacky, they're weird, and they're just crazy fun on the tabletop. So you can go the good old Gork way and just take a bunch of boys and charge them across the field and just go chop a chop into the head. Or you can go Morky and be more, you know, kill cans and mechs and try to be all technological and tricksy and stuff. You can play Orcs any which way you want. Right, orcs are also a great beginner army for, for hobbyists. I mean, you can glue on your, your, your door of your truck a little crooked because you did it wrong and it looks fine because it's orc. Or you can have the guy's gun broken in half and it's fine because it's orcs. And you want to paint them real fast, one color, and throw one brown ink over the whole thing, it's fine because it's orcs. All right, part of their old canon was that the old ones made these orcs to take on chaos. They would grow bigger and stronger the more they fought chaos and eventually overtake them. But there was a failsafe built in. As they got bigger and stronger, they'd want to keep fighting, keep fighting, keep fighting, and they start infighting with themselves. So they, in that way, had some control so they wouldn't take over the galaxy. Now, I don't know if that is canon anymore, but that was a story that really got me interested in them way back when. Right, orcs have a great currency in their own little clan-type societies. They use teeth as, as money. So the more teeth you have, the more stuff you can buy from other orcs. And the one clan I love the best is the Bad Moons. They say their teeth grow bigger, and faster than the other clans. That's why they have the most money. So they have the most Morkonaut stuff or Morky stuff, the best technology because they have enough teeth to buy it. So I know a lot of people like to play their orcs, uh, you know, brutal and go ahead and charge into combat, but I love my shooting. So I've been playing a lot of shooting orcs with plenty of cheap um, mech guns, just shooter boys. Ludas were amazing, which, you know, they hit more than they should. The bubble chucka and the custom mega blasta on the grot little wagons. They are cheap, don't hit very well, but you get so many of them that you're gonna get hits. 
My favorite orc weapon is definitely the rocket launcher. Now, it only hits on flies, but when it does, it's a good old three damage missile. Now, you put them in the hands of a tank buster, and it's going to get work done. My favorite characters, hands down, are the big mechs. I have not played a game without at least one of them, sometimes two or three. Rocking that custom force field, keeping all the boys protected as they're moving up the field, they are an auto inclusion for every army for me. The Weird Boy also isn't a bad choice. You can just like teleport a bunch of boys off the field and throw them nine inches away from your enemy turn one. That's a great ability. You know, a few good flyer options, but uh, the one I always go to is the plain old Dakajet, the original Dakajet. Six super shooters just fly around, and that's how you win. All right, I really love the orc troops as well. You have a bunch of wee little Gretchen, goblins, gits, uh, big old blobs of them that are, you know you're going to run in the morale phase, but you can have like a, an orc bully just kind of whipping them back in, keeping them in the game. And, and our basic troop, the orcs, just big muscular brutes that have a bunch of guns that don't actually have any mechanics in them. They just think they work and they work, and it works for them. My favorite ever orc model is the old Big Mac. He's got this big custom force field on his back that weighs probably more than he does, but he's able to walk somehow with a controller in one hand. And on his other hand, he's holding this big giant wrench axe. And every time I look at the model, I just think, wrench axe. So in previous editions, orcs had a rule called, wah, I'm not doing it, I'm not doing it. Uh, they don't have a really good one right now in Index, but when that codex comes out, uh, if there's a special wah rule in there, I guarantee you I will scream it as loud as I can, Every Orc Battle app coming up. So whether you want to play them all fast riding, outflanking, or just a bunch of boys storming right at you, or maybe a bunch of Gretchen in the back firing off big cannons with walkers coming at you, you can be cunning but brutal or brutal but cunning. That's why I like Orcs. And those are some of the many reasons why I love Orcs. So in the comments below, why don't you let me know why you love Orcs. And remember to check out all our Orc Bat reps in the Mini Warrior Vault. Now, if you're not already a Vault member, you can click the link below in the description. Get yourself a seven-day free trial. It'll cost you nothing. You can wash up Orc Bat reps and cancel afterwards. But if you look around the Vault, I think you'll stick around because there's a lot of great videos in there. And a lot of Orc videos in there, too. Happy Wargaming. Happy Wargaming.